Many of us would really rather that our Christian walk would be easy. Oh, glory to God. We want to be on the mountain top at all the time. We want to be in a position where we can just say, hallelujah, praise God. That is what most of us would rather. But guess what? If the Christian walk was easy without any need to fight, we, would be, we, we wouldn't be where we need to be. But God knows how important the process is to us coming out as pure gold. Job 23, 10 says, but he knoweth the way that I take. And when he had tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. And if Job could declare such a thing as this, where we see in the book of Job that Job lost everything, then we too have to come to the place that whatever I am going through at this moment, glory to God, when I have come through, I am going to come through as pure gold. Hey, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. It is all about God and for his glory. Hallelujah. The king, he put out an edict. He said, now that we're putting away Queen Vashti, I need a new wife. So they sent out into the region. So doing a little background of Esther. He sent out into the region to choose from the woman there because he wanted a wife. They gathered women from all over the place. And in chapter two is where we're introduced to Esther. It speaks about her upbringing, that she was with her cousin, Mordecai, who raised her as his own daughter because her parents died. Anybody know Esther's Jewish name before Mordecai changed it? Anybody go ahead either come off mute or put it in the chat. What was her Jewish name? I think it was Hadassah. Mm. That's right. Her name was Hadassah. But Mordecai, he changed her name to Esther to hide her true identity. And he commanded her, do not tell anyone who you really are. And I have to ask the question, how many of us hide our true identity when we are outside of the church? How many of us believe it's just okay to just, yeah, I'm doing good, I'm, I'm doing all right. I don't necessarily have to, to, to mention God. I know I'm not talking about going into the workplace and you know, your spinner, your, your drop two tongues. No, I'm talking about people knowing that you are serving God because of your actions. You're not hiding. So if they're talking about Jesus, you can't say, yes, me know this Jesus. So Mordecai at the time believed he was doing Esther a great favor, right? By changing her name from Hadassah to Esther so that she would now have a name that would fit in with the king Xerxes and his people at the time. The Bible said that Esther was fair and beautiful. That means that Esther was nice to look upon, a nice girl. Yes, she was a good looking girl. So make no mistake, ladies, you have to be good stewards of the beauty and the gifts that God has given to you. You're not just beautiful for men to look at you. You don't just have gifts for people to look at you and say, wow, look at that girl. Oh, she can sing. She can put together a program. Our brothers that are here, oh boy, he can play the music. He knows how to share the word. You are steward of God's beauty or whatever it is that he has blessed you with. You are stewards. So wherever you go, whatever God has blessed you with, you have to use it to God's glory. It is the very same gift and the things that God has given you that is going to allow you to find favor. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I am going to find favor in my situation because of the gifts that God has given to me. Come on, declare that over yourself. Hallelujah. So Esther, her beauty, she was, she was taken up in that group of ladies and she was entrusted to the eunuch that was called Hegai. Her beauty and countenance pleased him so that she won his favor. So many of us, God sends us into some situations and we find favor in some unexpected and unfamiliar situations. And I am sure that some people can testify. And I'm going to share a simple story. I walked into a store some time ago. We were to have a work meeting and they say, oh, dress down. You don't need to wear the dress up this time. Wear slippers, wear whatever. I mean, I have no slippers. So my friend took me to a store and she said, some nice shoes down here. So I'm like, all right, fine. So I went the first day and I looked at some, I saw some that I like. 
Somehow I wasn't, I didn't decide at the moment. So I said, I'm going to go back the next day. And there was a girl there all the time. We go to the store, this girl, I follow me and the girl around. Yeah, I them brownie. Yeah, I them pretty. And all of that. And she was like, are you a teacher? I said, no, but I'm in the same kind of field. I do training. And, so, and she was like, okay. So I said, all right, I'm going to check back tomorrow. She said, all right, tomorrow. I went back to the store the next day. And from I reached the door, the lady said, teacher, you come back. And she round the place with me again. Other people in the store. She come back. She said, yeah, Christian, miss. I said, yes, I am. She said, which church are you going? She asking me. I was telling her. Then she called me. She said, come here. Come here, lady. You see, because you're a Christian and you're one good lady. You see, slippers, I mean, the story, they're not good. If you're weary, you go and pop out. And I said, thank you, Jesus. You're not take, take time, put back your money in your bag and go buy your shoes somewhere else. And I had to say, I, I even called back my friend. He said, girl, now go back down at the store, go buy no slippers. And I said, who could it be but Jesus? Because I'm looking for something and sometimes you look on some simple things and we're saying that it is not God's favor, but it is God's favor. I could have nicely go by the slippers and the trip traps down a sandals and feel nice and all me the other walk barefoot. Hello, it is God's favor. We have all gone through some things, some little simple things. Sometimes in our mind, we just say, God, want one mango. And somebody bring a mango for you tomorrow. It is God's favor. It is God's favor, whatever God has put on you. As I said, we are stewards of the gifts. And if the Lord so blesses us with beauty that we even find favor that we are there, it is God's gift and we should honor him with it. So when the ladies were there, it said that when Esther was amongst all of the many ladies that were taken up in that gathering, she found uncommon favor with the eunuch that was there. So these ladies had to go through months and months of beauty treatment because guess what? They want to showcase the best to the king. So throughout all of this, her cousin Mordecai would come and check on her. He wanted to see if she was keeping up appearances. Did she let the cat out of the bag that she really named Hadassah and she's a Jew? Or is she keeping up that she's Esther? So every time he went to see, he would realize that things were going well. So before a girl went in to see the king, so we're shifting gear now. So they're getting these months of treatment. But before they went in to see the king, it took preparation. So the same I'm going to tie it into our Christian life. What preparation are we making before we going to see our king? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The word of God declares that clean hands and a pure heart will see God. And I know for a fact that this is not just about see God in heaven, but to see his glory. That is why the psalmist could say, oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. Hallelujah. Are we preparing ourselves to go into the presence of the Lord? So before a girl went in to see, to the, see the king, they got perfume, they got clothing, they got jewelry, anything that her heart desired, she could have gotten. So all the many girls saw the jewelry, they saw the clothes, and they chose what they want, and they went in. But this girl called Esther, before she went to the king, she listened to the advice of Haggai, the eunuch, and only what he told her or recommended to her, she listened. How many of us are listening to the voice of wise counsel, whether from others around us or from the word of God? How many of us are listening to wise counsel? So Esther listened to what the eunuch said. And she went in and it says that Esther won the favor of all who saw her, including the king. She was so favored that the king set a crown upon her head. Hallelujah. Are you tonight wearing the king of your the crown of your father? Are you tonight arrayed in the apparel that he wants you to be in? Have you put on the bowels of compassion? Are you walking in faith? Are your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace? Are you wearing the helmet of salvation? Are you prepared and covered, hallelujah, with what the king requires of you? So it says that the king placed his crown upon Esther's head, and she now replaced Vashti. So a feast was held 
to show his new wife to the entire province. So in those days, it says that Mordecai, in as he went to check on Esther after she became queen, he heard the plot. What was the plot? Two men were there planning to kill the king. Hallelujah. Two men were there plotting to kill the king. And guess what? Mordecai told it to Esther, who passed it on to the king. And these men were hung. And we might think that all things are going well, right? But one of the sub points I want to talk to you on tonight, that there is purpose in your pain. There is purpose in your pain. You might have gone through so much tonight, but I want to stop by and tell somebody there is purpose in your pain. You might have had that resolve and then you realize that more troubles are coming. But I want to declare to you tonight that there is purpose in your pain. And Sister Agatha says, when God have his hands on you, no demon can come against you. But I'll add a little bit back to that, Sister Agatha. The demons can come against you. Hallelujah. But the word of God declares that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hey, glory to God. And every tongue that rises up against you. Oh, hallelujah thou shalt condemn and it says that this is the heritage of the children of God so yes the weapons will form but as I say tonight to you somebody there is purpose in your pain because you are called for such a time as this so earlier we mentioned that this enemy that is out there he comes to kill to steal and to destroy but the problem is sometimes we do not really identify who enemy is or what will cause our enemy to attack us. Haman in that time was raised up. The king gave him a promotion that we see to oversee all the princes of the province. So somebody talk to me. When the king raised up Haman to this position that he would oversee all the prince of the provision, do you know what was required of the servants of the king when they saw Haman talk to me? What was required of the servants of the king when they saw Haman passing through the town? Somebody tell me, come off mute or put it in the chat. They were to reverence him above before him. They were to reverence this official. Thank you so much, Sister Vilma, by bowing before him. How many situations and mandates have we faced where the enemy has called us to bow before him? How many things are out there in our lives that the enemy wants us to say, oh, there is nothing really too wrong with that. Let me try that. There are so many things that come to us that cause us to bow to something that is not like Christ. But when Mordecai saw this man walking through and that he was just strutting him stuff just to show his power and he wanted him to bow, Mordecai never subscribed to that mandate. Somebody type me now subscribe to the devil's mandate. No matter how the enemy wants to come, no matter which way he wants to put it, we are not going to bow or subscribe to the enemy's mandate. So what Haman would do is that from time to time, he would continuously go through the city and he would ensure that he would have to go where Mordecai was. And Mordecai still made a decision that he was not going to bow to him. So guess what? Haman become angry. And the same thing happened when we are there and the enemy sends his attack. Guess what? He sends different things. And the more we say that we are not bowing is the angrier he becomes. So yes, we were born in sin and shit in iniquity. And with that, the enemy is well pleased. But you see the moment you decide to seek the Lord and to choose a better path, that is when he becomes abundantly angry and wants to destroy us unless we decide to turn over to him. But tonight, as I said, we declare we will not bow to the devil's mandate. And when you decide that, that is when the attacks turn up. That is when some of us would say the, the fire gets hotter. But the song man said the hotter the battle, sweeter. the sweeter the victory. So we Amen. have to decide that even in the midst of the enemy's attack, we are not going to bow. Haman now decided that he's going to go to the king. And he said to the king, there is this set of people. They have their own law. They do not respect yours. So guess what? They are of no profit to you. 
There are some people out there that are saying that the church is of its own law and it does not want to bow to some of the things that the government or the world system want to put in. Hallelujah. But we say tonight we're not bowing to the mandate of Satan. There are some things that people put into play and even some of the churches. My husband was saying to me recently, in some of the churches they want to say that God is like gender neutral. They don't call him he anymore. It is our father and our mother God. Everything wants to be accepted in the church. But tonight we are saying that even if the devil turns the fire up a little hotter, like with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we are not going to bow because there is some purpose in the pain that we are facing. So the king signed this degree, decree because he decided to work with Haman. He thought that Haman had his best, the, the, the interests of the kingdom at heart. So he signed the decree to remove the people from the face of the earth. But guess what? Mordecai went down into sackcloth and ashes. And we know that when somebody goes down in sackcloth and ashes in the Bible, it is deep mourning. It is deep regret about something that is happening. Oh, he went down into sackcloth and ashes and he didn't just stop there. He started to weep through the city. And I want to ask us, how many of us have had to weep about the situations that we face? How many of us have had to weep over the condition of the church? Sometimes we go to God and we have things we want to say, but it is just tears. It is just groaning. How many of us have stayed a little longer than others at the altar because we want God to move on our behalf? How many of us have been heavy and bitter in spirit like Hannah waiting for a word from the Lord? Yes, people would have come to us and they say, yes, they understand. People would have come to us and they're ready to run. If they had the same situation like you, God Almighty, they would have crumbled under pressure. Oh, glory to God. But some of us in our bitterness and in our heaviness, all we had to do was to run to the altar. All we had to do was to be like King Hezekiah and spread out the complaint before God and say, God, bow down thine ear. God, open your eyes to see what is happening to me in this season. God, this situation is unbearable. And some of us have to get back to that place like Mordecai tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. There is no other report that any other Jew was reacting like Mordecai. But Mordecai put on his sackcloth and his ashes, glory to God. And he went through the city and he wept for his people. We have to get back to the place where we weep, not just for our family, not just for, for our church, but for the nation. We have to get back to the place where we decide that we're going to sit at the altar until a word comes. And your altar might not necessarily be at church. It could be your altar that is in your home, but you're deciding I am not moving. God, I'm not moving until I hear from you tonight. Glory to God Almighty. We have to get to that place where sometimes when the burden is hard to bear, we take it to Jesus. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just oh, bless the Lord. On his promise. Just to know the said the Lord. Yes. I am sure that Mordecai would God. have been exposed to the scriptures. I am sure that Mordecai would have heard about the great things that God would have done. I am sure that Mordecai knew that God was a deliverer. I am absolutely sure he had those testimonies. And I am sure that even us tonight, we might be holding on to God for a testimony. We might be holding on to God for a breakthrough. We do not see the way out because it seems that the enemy has put out a right on our head that everything is out to pull us down. But tonight in the name of Jesus, I say go back to the altar. And you are going to come out of it. 
You are going to come out of it because the word of the Lord tells us in Luke 22, verse 31 to 34. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Oh, glory to God. I could call oh, some Jesus. names tonight. When the Bible says, Simon, Simon, there was urgency in the call. Oh, glory to God. God is calling some of us tonight, saying that Satan desire to have you. Satan wants to sift you like wheat. But here is what verse yes. who says, the yes, Lord God. says, I have prayed for you. Glory yes. to God. Clearly, Hallelujah. the Lord has prayed for you. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has prayed for you. He said that your faith may fail not. So I want to encourage somebody tonight. So whilst you're going through and it feels like you're hanging by a thread and it feels that you're not moving, the Lord has prayed for you and I declare tonight over you that your faith will fail not in the name of Jesus. Hey, glory to God that you'll be strengthened tonight in the name of Jesus because guess what? As I said, there is purpose in your pain. There is purpose in your going through because you have been called for a time such as this. Glory to God. You have been called for a time such as this. And if you not go, if you don't go through what God has called you to go through, the end of verse 32 says, and when thou art converted, is not that per se that some of us not say, but sometimes we have fear in our life that God needs to convert out of us. Sometimes we have some trying situation that yes. God to get us out of yes Amen. It is sifting it yes. is testing that we have to go through hallelujah to understand that even if we're hanging by a thread hey glory yes. to god we can hallelujah. climb life's mountain for oh, god hallelujah. is holding our hand hey glory yes. to god the word declares that he'll uphold us with his powerful right hand. Bless God. Never declared that we have to lift up God's hand. Glory to yes. God. Glory to he God. will lift us up with his powerful right hand. Sometimes the burdens may be heavy, but be reminded, brothers and sisters, that there is an intercessor at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. You, yes, you listening to me, you looking at me tonight, you will not fail. Yes, you will be tested. Yes, you will be tried. But God declares that you will be kept by his strength if only your faith fails not. Glory to God. Sometimes we have to get to the place uh, like the man in the Bible who declared, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Uh, some of us are going through some things that we do not see the way out of. Uh, but if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, you will realize and see the purpose in the midst of your pain tonight. Come on, somebody go ahead right there and glorify the name of the Lord. Go ahead. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord hallelujah. is worthy to be praised. There is purpose in the situation that you're going through because you have been called for such a time as this. As mentioned, Esther went through some things, but guess what? She subjected herself to godly counsel. We also have to subject ourselves to godly counsel. Don't think that we can make this journey on our own. Oh, glory to God. We cannot make this journey on our own. Hallelujah. That is why the word of God says to us, uh, we should not forsake the gathering together of the believers because guess what? Iron sharp neck iron. Glory to God Almighty. And even as we're on here tonight, I declare, I declare, I declare, I declare that somebody's faith will be strengthened tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mordecai's pain now became Esther's pain. Yes. Oh, many of us in the church of God get to the place that when somebody's suffering, that when somebody's going through, that when we see somebody slipping, that, that burden become ours just the same. Glory to God. Glory to God. We have to get to that place. Esther, I am sure she felt safe. And sometimes so is the condition and the situation with us. Things are going right. We are in a good place as a lady. We're in a good place as a Christian. We're in a good place as a man. 
But sometimes we have to get to the place where we realize that as the Bible says, we are one body, that if one weep, the rest is supposed to weep. And if one rejoice, the rest is supposed to rejoice. Do not feel that now because you're on the mountain top that your valley experience will not come tomorrow. Do not believe that because it is that possibly you're doing everything right and you're walking in God's favor, that something will not come up, that there will not be some attack. Mordecai's pain now become Esther's pain. I encourage somebody tonight. Allow somebody else's valley experience to become yours. Walk with somebody through that valley experience because there is purpose in their pain. They have been called to such a time as this, but they have to walk through that process to get to where God wants them to be. Esther felt safe and that her identity was hid and that she would be safe from the onslaught of the adversary. Glory to God. She thought that possibly what was going to happen to the Jews would not happen to her. And there are some of us here, when we hear so something talk to some people, we say, mm -mm, could never happen to me. But the Bible says we should restore people in the spirit of meekness because we do not know what can happen in the future if our faith will fail at any time. So what Mordecai did was that he got a copy of the letter and he gave it to Esther. And he begged her, go before the king and make petition. Glory to God. There are some people because of the thing that they're going through, they don't even feel worthy enough to go before the king. We have to lift up their petition before the Lord God Almighty. So when Esther received this letter, she sent back to Mordecai, guess what? Not in so many words, I'm paraphrasing now. You and the Jews have found it one enough because I cannot go before this king unless he summons me. I cannot go before him and in the past 30 days, he never even called me. And sometimes this is how we are. We are going through our situations. Oh, glory to God. And sometimes we're going to God over and over and it seems that he's not responding. But in here, Mordecai was saying, you might not have felt the presence of God. You might not have felt the presence of the king. But go again. I'm telling somebody, go again tonight. Go back to your daddy tonight. Go one more time and make petition. Glory to God. Glory to God. Church of God. Never become complacent when we see other people or other churches going through trials and tribulations. And we think that it can't reach our door. Be on your guard. The word of God in Ephesians 6, verse 11 to 18, it says, put on the whole arm of God that he may be able to stand against the wires of the devil. Glory to God. It never said, wait until the attack come, you run for coverage. But it says, put on the whole arm of God that you can stand, that when the wires come, when the attacks come, you can stand against the wires of the devil. Because what? We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor that he may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And it goes down to verse 18 to say, praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You're not just praying for yourself. This battle is all of us. We might find different levels of the battle. We might find different intensity at different times, but we should be praying. For all saints, all saints in the spirit, we must be praying. We cannot believe that, hey, we are just too safe. No, there is purpose in the pain. And don't just sit down and throw up your hands to say, oh, I give up. No, there is purpose in your pain. And sometimes if you can't see it, call somebody alongside you. Call somebody alongside you. You might sometimes we say we can't find somebody in our church, but we have this great host across the district. There must be somebody that can join you in prayer to help you through this pain. 
purpose in your pain because you've been called to such a time as this. The final point I'm bringing to you from the same topic, it is called call for such a time as this. Mordecai had to say to Esther, do not hold your peace. Do not hold your peace at this time because guess what? God is God. It is God's church and he will not allow his church to fail. So if you want to sit down and watch your church go down, yes, in this season, there might be a destruction, but guess what? God is going to rise up somebody who is going to turn the hearts of his people back to him. In Hezekiah's time, it said that there was no king after Hezekiah, after his kind that came because he broke down the altars. He took down the brazen images and he declared that it would have been God that they are following. Because even Elijah would have said to the people, if Baal be Baal, serve him. But if God be God, serve him. So do not think that, oh, you're just going to sit down and God has given you a purpose and you're not going to do anything about it. Do not be like Esther initially because she was willing to sit down and to hide her identity. Get to the place where you recognize that you have been called by God for such a time as this. You have been called to bring forth deliverance. Glory to God. You have been called. Your audience might not be a big white church. It might be a neighbor. It might be the person next to you. But do not ignore the gifting and the call that God has placed upon you. That's why Paul would have said, Stir up the gift that is within you. Find to flame that which God has given to you. We cannot be complacent. So when Esther heard this and she realized the call, and I called somebody tonight, hey, glory to God. Things might be happening in and around you. Things might be happening in and around you, but declare tonight that whether or not the enemy wants to show some more attacks, whether or not the enemy wants to send some more things to attract me, whatever I'm going to do, I must see the king. Glory to God. My end result, yes, might be to worship with my king around the throne of heaven. But right now, I am here in the business of deliverance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the word of God declares that the spirit of the Lord God is upon me for he has anointed me. Glory to God. Somebody declare tonight. Hallelujah. Put it in the mute and declare that I am anointed. I am appointed. Come on. I am anointed. I am appointed. I am appointed. appointed. For he has been called. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah have been called for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to God. Hey, Glory my sister, to God. you, my brother, you yes. have been called for such a time as this. God Glory. has called you God. to set at liberty Glory those who are bound. God. Glory to God. He has called you to set at liberty those that are bound. Oh, yes, God. Sometimes the greatest battle that you will have to fight, oh, God Almighty, is for your own freedom. But tonight, the spirit of the Lord God is upon you. Jesus, oh, yes, Lord. the Thank spirit you. of the Lord God is upon you. Oh, Somebody receive no, 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 God's no, no, strength no, no, tonight. No, 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 no. Somebody receive God's encouragement tonight. His spirit is upon you. You will not fail. The love of God. You will not fail. The enemy wants to sift you like wheat, but the Lord God has prayed for you. Hallelujah, oh. hallelujah. For you have been set apart for such a time as this. this. You have been set apart to serve mm. in the church for such a time as this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do not worry if you're not on the front line. We all have yes. different giftings. The Bible declares, oh, God oh. Almighty, many different offices, but one body. Glory to God, all for the purpose of God. Hallelujah. You might not be on the front line, but hey, God has set you up That's for a right. purpose. And even if you're on the front line, God has set you up for a purpose. Hey, glory to God. For he's anointed you in this season and this time and set you apart. Hallelujah. So when Esther heard this, she said to Mordecai, go and tell all the people. Gather all the Jews and listen. 
<laughs> Glory to God. As mentioned, it was only Mordecai that the Bible records that was in sackcloth and ashes. I am sure that everybody else was in fear because I am sure that Haman did not keep this a secret. He was out uh, um, distributing this letter and telling everybody that, guess what? There's ransom out for you to be killed. Hmm. And sometimes some of us go through some of these trying and testing situations and we know that the enemy is out just to test and to try our faith. But guess what? Sometimes we have to round up and call in some people. Esther said, call all the people and guess what? Fast for me. Yes. That is why I said yes, we need sisters, support. Sometimes we have to call on. somebody and say, I am asking if you could pray the closing prayer for God. us. Fast is for it possible? me. Okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah, fast for me. As the Bible declares, as I said what Hezekiah said, Hezekiah said, God, bow down thine ear to hear and open your eyes to see. This was a time now where Esther said, look here, me can't do this by myself. Hallelujah. I cannot do this by myself, so gather everybody and fast for me. Hey, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Fast for me three days and three nights. We are going to deny ourselves and we're going to seek the presence of the Lord. And I want to ask somebody tonight, I'm asking myself, when is the last time you've denied yourself of some pleasures just to seek God because you know he's called you for such a time as this? Sometimes we get so lazy. Sometimes we get so complacent thinking that we're safe because there's no attack going on. But the Bible just said to us in Ephesians, put on the whole arm of God so that we can stand. Hallelujah. We must be prepared and ready for that which the enemy is coming. Glory, glory to God coming with. Yeah. Our speaker last night said that prayer is a powerful weapon. It helps you in your present and it goes before you in your future to open and to unlock doors, to open and to unlock situations that you never thought about. Sometimes Hallelujah. You know, when we're having it good, we pray some prayers because when we get to some oh, place, yes. we have nothing to utter. Oh, yes. The psalmist says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Glory to God, your rod and your staff comfort me. Comfort me. When he was going through, probably had no words to say, but he remembered the things that he would have declared unto his Lord. Yes. Tell somebody to fast with me tonight if you're struggling by the time you leave here tonight. Link up somebody and say, fast with me. We're going yes. into fire. Because yes. I've been called by God and I'm not going to allow the pain I'm going Hallelujah. to cause my purpose to be wasted. I am not going to allow the pain that I'm going through now to cause my purpose to be wasted. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've been called for a time such as this. Esther said, not only am I asking the people in Shushan, the Jews, to fast for me, but mm -hmm. I and my maidens are going to fast. Sometimes we have to help with self. Not mm -hmm. only are we going to be begging for person, but we have to be willing to make the move. We yes, have God. to be willing to make the move to say, God, here mm -hmm. is the situation. Just like Hezekiah said, God, bow down your ears to hear and open your eyes to see. And do not think that God is not in this situation. Because his word declares that before you have yet called, I have heard. And before you have yet prayed, I have answered. Glory to God. So Esther went on her fasting and at the end of the three days in Esther 5, it said that this lady dressed up nice and you know, eat food, probably her belly the roll. Probably she wants something. And sometimes that's how we are. We, we have a purpose in mind, but a little something come and we get distracted. Eh? God Almighty. Probably Esther was hungry now, but she decided to put on her royal apparel. And she decided to go because she just decided that if I perish, I perish, I must see the king. And we have to go with the resolving in the midst of our pain. Just like the Hebrew boys, we now bow to the mandate of Satan, no matter where him try. So guess what? I'd rather die worshiping God than bow to the mandate of Satan and lose my way. Yes? So Esther put on her royal apparel. And she went into the court of the king. And the first thing when the king looked into Esther, 
And the word declared that she obtained favor and the king extended his golden scepter. When I saw this story, I used to go with the prayer and say, God, I pray as I come tonight, you extend your golden scepter. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. That as I come into your presence, I am not just coming with empty words and vain words, but that my worship, it's going up to you as a sweet smelling savor that my worship is accepted. I don't want to bring my what left to God. I don't want to bring my what left to God. And so tonight we have to make the very that we're not bringing no what left to God. So Esther put on her best and went to the king. She went into the presence of the king. And it says that she found favor in the sight of the king. And the king called her in. And he asked Esther, what is your request? And sometimes we have not because we ask that. What Amen. is your request tonight, church of God? True, true. What is your request? He said, even to the half of the kingdom I will give thee. And if only we knew what God had in store for us, Amen. we would run into his presence. Amen. Even Amen. when we know that there's a plot out for our lives. True, Even true. when we feel that we are unworthy, we would run into his presence. Because he's true, waiting true. just to welcome us. I am not true, saying that true. God is going to take us out of the process just like that. But yes, he will give us strategies on how to overcome. Oh, yes. Glory to the name of Jesus. So Esther asks, and even as we are called for such a time as this, it requires strategy and careful planning. Oh, glory to God. When we come into God's presence, we are not fools. We don't just do things haphazardly. We, we, we do things with excellence. That's the hallmark that God expects of us. So when Esther went in, and I would believe that she would have been led by God, Esther never just threw out the king, so I said, boy, there's a plot out to kill the Jews. She said, king, come, let me invite you. Come, there's a banquet. Invite in Haman and let us talk together. Haman already had his pride. The enemy already has his pride. Guess what? He will come with some things and sometimes he's not him now to conceal himself. Haman felt so good. He thought that this was all about him. Something else to puff his chest. So they sat down and the king said to Esther, I know that there is a need. What else is there? Esther said, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And sometimes you just have to tell, tell some people, you know what? Either stay with me at the altar or leave me at the altar for a while. Let me talk to my God. Let God work it out for me. Let God work it out for me. Esther just said, guess what, king? Permit me to have another banquet. Oh, glory to God. Permit me to have a banquet. Nothing else was said. Hey, man, feel good. He feel nice. He had his gallows that he, he prepared from some from Mordecai. He go back to his wife and say, guess what? The Queen Esther invited me to, to a banquet and I feel so good. So guess what? I know that my plans are advancing. Let me set up a gallows. Sometimes so it is the enemy feels contented when you are silent, but sometimes you are there at the feet of the master making intercession. And that's why I say we have to be wise. We have to go with the spirit of excellence. We have to go with careful planning. Yes. Esther called another banquet. So, so Amon was in the background because the enemy is the enemy and the enemy is going to plot and do what he needs to try to bring us down. But Esther was there and she had her period of silence just there. Probably she's wondering, probably she's just saying, God, have your way. God, work it out. And somebody just needs to whisper that tonight. God, have your way. God, work it out. It says to us that after Esther had that meeting, and even though Haman went and he was planning on getting gallows him set up in things to hang Mordecai because a long time he won't get rid of him. It said that that night the king could not sleep. The king said, bring forth the book, bring forth the chronicles, bring forth the writings. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when he went through the writing, he found the account where a man found out that two men wanted to kill him. And he asked the question, what was done for this man that saved the king's life? They said, nothing, king. 
So the next morning, he called in him and I said, guess what? What should be done to the man that the king honors, um, delights to honor? And some of us is just the same. The Lord wants to honor us. Sometimes we think that the things that we have done, we have slaved for church. We have invested in ministry and nothing is being done. But guess what I want to say to somebody? The Lord is preparing to honor you. The God is preparing to reward your faithfulness to him tonight. But just hold on. It might not come when you expect it. But God is a faithful God. He's an on-time God. And he's going to work out his good pleasure in you in due season. So Haman felt good. The enemy feel nice now and things are him. God go. The king was going to big up. And Haman now, king, get your best robe. Put on your ring and put this man on a horse and parade him through the city and say, this is the man whom the king delights to honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The word of God in Psalm 23 says, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Glory to God. The enemy was there planning to honor this other person he wanted to get rid of and did not even know. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Some of us tonight, there are some pits that have been dug for us, but I declare in the name of Jesus that the enemy will fall into those very same pit. Some of us might be seeing some Red Sea before us, but as the word declares of Pharaoh that you are seeing today, you will see them no more. Oh, hallelujah. Just let your God work. Let your God work. Him and now who was so proud had to be walking through the city with Mordecai behind him making the announcement that this is the man that the king delights to honor. What a setup, <laughs> what a setup, but God was in control. And I tell you, he felt so bad after that, felt like a fool, but nonetheless, let us rush back to Esther because we're talking about you being called for such a time as this. The time now came. The time now came when Esther went back to the next banquet. She was now ready to make her request unto the Lord. Glory to God. She was now ready to make her request to the king. She was now ready to make her request to the king. And guess what? She said to the king that there is a man who is trying to get rid of a set people. And this man, guess what? I am a part of this very same people that this man wants to get rid of. And the king wanted to know who was so bright to want to get rid of this woman in whom he found favor. And it's just the same tonight. The Lord is saying that many of us, he has favored us and he wants to do many things in us. But guess what? Some of us still sitting back there in the big pen thinking that we can't oh, run to our Jesus. daddy. Oh, Jesus. We can't run to our daddy. But tonight I tell somebody, run back to your master because oh, yes. you have been called for such a time as this. Bless God. When Esther finished with the king and finished with the banquet, the king said, let this man Haman be hung on the very same gallows that he would have set up for Mordecai. Oh, glory to God. And her people received deliverance. Tonight, people of God, as I said, you're called for such a time as this. I want to declare that your deliverance has come. I want to declare that it is no time for your public revealing. Glory to God. For God is about to move and to do mighty things in your midst. For the word of God says to us that he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Oh, glory to God. But he that exalted himself shall be abased. For it is God, as we said before, that set it up one and bring it down another. So I say to somebody tonight, run your race with patience. Glory to God. It might be hard. You might be facing trials and temptations. Run your race with patience tonight. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Be humble in the sight of the Lord and know that he has called you for such a, such a time as this. He has called you and set you apart. So go with a new resolve tonight. Whether I perish, I perish. Oh, glory but to I God. The enemy you. might come. He may want to take me out. But I want yes. to declare tonight. It is not yes. how I die. It is not how I go. But I want to yes. know that my heart and my soul 
soul is right before God. Hallelujah. That we are going through. Mm -hmm. Thank you, you Jesus. Tonight, my face are end like Stephen. Might be the case, might be sad, but it's true. But at the end, even though Stephen was being stoned, he could look up into the heavens and he could say, Father, lay not this to their charge. Some Amen. people tonight that might be attacking you, allowing themselves to be used by the enemy. Oh, hallelujah. They know what they are doing. So Amen. sometimes after prayer, I say, God, do not lay this sin to their charge. But he looked Amen. up into the heavens and he could see, say that I see Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father. Glory to Amen. God. Even the most adverse situations can people see god in you tonight mm. can they see the calling that is upon you that you've been called for such a time as this thank you jesus some of us might be like daniel that we might be thrown in the lion's den glory to god because we refuse to bow to the devil's mandate mm. oh glory to god but you were called for such a time as that to shoot forth the glory of your god oh glory to god so even though daniel was there in the lion's den the king ran and when he went he said daniel daniel has your god been able to deliver you Jesus. daniel said oh king live forever oh god almighty i am safe and so my god has delivered me Yes, they me. That let it be known today that only the king of Daniel Hallelujah. are people mm -hmm. seeing your God coming through you even in the midst of your circumstances. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As we go through our pain, let God refine us and bring us through as pure gold. Glory to God. Because you are appointed and anointed. You have been called for such a time as this. And the Lord is with you. Your faith will not fail. God be with you. God bless you all tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over to you, Sister Lewis. Hallelujah. Yes, Sister. Nelson. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Wisdom will take over from here. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet, I greet the household of faith tonight. What a word. What a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are called to the kingdom for time. such a time as this. I, 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 I am just amazed that the word of God, God bless you, mm -hmm. Sister Kiona Nelson, mm -hmm. for bringing this word to us tonight, right across the district and others who may have joined. I believe we needed to hear this Hallelujah. word tonight. Hallelujah. God does not make mistakes and nothing happens by coincidence. There is purpose in our pain. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. What a word. I am sure I'm confident that our hearts have been lifted yes, and encouraged. God himself showed up, hallelujah, tonight. Hallelujah. And he spoke hallelujah. this word through his servant. Yes, it yes, came yes. from the heart of God to yes. us tonight. And we should just be in worship wherever we are right now. God has spoken. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me invite us uh, to pray together at this time. Lord, you are God. Ah, hallelujah. All by yourself. You are God and there's nobody else like you, Lord. God, you are glorious in your faithfulness, Lord, and you continue to do wonders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And just as how you worked, Lord, in the time of Esther, just as how, Lord, you placed and positioned Esther, just as how you placed and positioned Mordecai, Lord God, just as how you placed and positioned the king himself, 
yourself because Lord God your word said in Nehemiah that the hallelujah. heart of the king hallelujah is in the oh, hand hallelujah. of the Lord yeah, uh, so God just as how you positioned them so many years ago Lord God we uh, your children oh, have been hallelujah. positioned uh, tonight God almighty uh, yeah, you have reminded us Lord God in no uncertain terms Lord Jesus that there is a purpose at work there is a purpose at work in us Lord God to mold and shape us into what you want us to be Lord God in as much as Esther was molded and shaped uh, so that she would uh, find favor in the king's eyes Lord God you are molding hallelujah and shaping us God that we Lord God will show forth your glory hallelujah Hallelujah. and you are forming us Lord God into what you want us to be Lord God almighty Ah, some of us Lord Jesus we may have lost our way we may have lost our testimony last night God we were reminded to pray again Ah, some of us may have backslidden from prayer but God you are tarrying with us God you have not given up on us Lord Jesus Ah, you continue to extend your love and your grace and your mercy to us God and so tonight Lord Jesus as we have heard this word oh God we repent ah we repent Lord God tonight Lord Jesus we turn God we had one foot in and one foot out Lord God your word hallelujah that your word itself say it now go true void but it's Mm. going to accomplish what you sent it from heaven to do Ah, so God tonight Lord in obedience to your word (coughs) hallelujah we repent Lord Jesus where we may have faltered Mm. mighty God Lord Jesus shore us up God strengthen us again God so knees got feeble Lord Jesus and we could not pray Lord God some hands got tired and we could not lift them up to worship uh, God some mouth and some vice box Lord God did silent Lord God and did shut up but God your Holy Ghost has visited us tonight hallelujah oh, God, man, as, as your servant said if he don't talk if he like fire shut up in his bones tonight God I pray that you'd in Infiltrate us again with your Holy yes, Ghost Jesus. and fire, Lord God. Ah, oh, we don't want to call again. We don't want to look warm again. Lord Jesus, cause us oh, to burn. Hallelujah. Set us on fire across this district, Lord. I place the servant of God who gave the word, Lord, our dear sister Nelson. God, Lord Jesus, we pray now that you just uh, baptized her again. Depart in the blood again. Again, in the name cover of Jesus. her, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. All that her ways, Lord, yes, Lord God, will prosper and that yes, she will experience, Lord God, your favor. But not just that, God, every aspect of her life, yes, let Lord. it be blessed because yes, she has obeyed, because she yielded to the yes, call Lord. you placed on her life. Yes, I pray, God, that you bless our Jesus, Thank bless you. our dear husband. And Reverend Nelson, uh, locate him where he is, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh, and cover hallelujah. him under your blood. Uh, we come against any backlash from the enemy because he don't like when we hear the truth. Uh, Lord, he don't like when we are called again to repent, uh, when we are called again to burn. Uh, so God, 
God, some backlash has been set up already. Hallelujah. Help me pray somebody, but we come again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare every plan that is for your children. Lord God, we pray that it be brought to naught in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, we lift up our new district leaders, uh, Bishop Lewis and Sister Lewis. Lord God Almighty, we pray now, Lord Jesus, that you build a place around them. Hallelujah. Lord God, that your blood will be over every door post, over every window. Lord God, and every piece of furniture. Lord God, everything that they own and possess. Lord God, we plead the blood of Jesus. Lord God, against the hand of the enemy, that Lord God, your children will be able to do what you place them in this position for this time to do. Lord God, we come against the spirit of this unity. Lord God, all night we come against gossip and malice and backbiting and tear down. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Father God, that Lord Jesus, we will be one. You said, Lord God, that you have prayed for us, that we would be one. Oh God, we pray that that prayer will be answered yes, on the Glendevon district of churches. Yes, we pray, Lord God, that every separating and dividing oh, wall, yeah. Lord God, in as much as Jericho had to Jesus. crumble at the cry of the, the children of God. Jesus. Tonight, God, we, hallelujah, in as the name of said Jesus. last night, uh, uh, some of us know God have been impregnated uh, and we are nurturing oh, what you have impregnated Nated us with her. Yes, oh, so God, we are crying out to you, Lord Jesus. In fact, we are bawled tonight. God, Thank help me Jesus. pray somebody. Hey, Hallelujah. Lord, God, you some things uh, that have gone Jesus. wrong, uh, and we call on you tonight uh, to the turn name them Jesus. around and make them right uh, in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Ah, uh, oh, Lord God, without us lifting up finger, except Lord God. To lift up your name on mm. higher, turn things Thank around. Jesus. Lord God, we fly Thank from theater in a yes, Glendevon district. Yes, Lord, Lord God, would you visit the Glendevon church? <laughs> yes, uh, would Lord. you go over to Cornwall yes, Court? Yes, would you transfer yes, from the hill to Salt Spring? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 And cause your will to be done, Lord Jesus, as Jesus Himself prayed in the garden. Lord God, sometimes ah, the burden gets heavy. Sometimes, Lord God, the cross is hard to bear. Ah, but Lord Jesus, as your servant, remind us again, Lord God, there is a purpose at work. So God cause us to say uh, and to Jesus. pray as Jesus himself did never hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, nevertheless uh, nevertheless uh, it might not be comfortable ah uh, uh, but nevertheless lord nevertheless, jesus uh, lord. it might not be pleasant and happy all lord the jesus. time ah uh, uh, but nevertheless uh, nevertheless nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless we slay flesh lord god not Jesus. my will lord jesus would you help us tonight not my will not my will, not my will. lord god almighty help mm. us sisters help us help us help us jesus, jesus. we cry out lord we believe mm. tonight help our unbelief thank you jesus oh lord Oh, Fire of the Holy Ghost, Ghost. Holy burn Holy again Holy. on this district. Start Thank with you, me. Sister. I wish we could just say in our hearts right now, my sisters in the Lord, start with me, Lord. Start, start with me. Lord. Start, start with me, God. Lord. Set me afire again, God. Me did I get little dim? God, touch me, touch me, touch me, Jesus. Start with me, Lord. Oh, God, and then let that flame, hallelujah, burn. Jesus, we tell you thanks. 
Lord, we pray for the Prendergast, Lord God, as well. Lord God, new to the district, we pray for their sister. Hallelujah. Lord God, we lift up this child before you, God. Yes. Oh, Lord. Jesus, touch our Lord. Restore, renew, refresh in the name oh, of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do, hallelujah. Lord God, yes. what only you, only you, only yes. you can Jesus. do. Lord God, and let a light, uh, uh, Lord Jesus, Jesus. lit in Cornwall courts uh, continue yes, to burn. Uh, Ah, Lord Jesus, Jesus, Father, bless us, Lord, as we yield and surrender, God, and we tell you yes tonight, Lord, yes to the call, yes, yes to your will, yes to your way, Lord Jesus, as we obey your word, bless us, Lord, this is your word, you said there is blessing for obedience, so bless your Bless children us, tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Us, Hallelujah. I pronounce and declare Hallelujah. Yes, the Jabez blessing. Yes, Lord yes, God, that some borders, Hallelujah, will be extended. Uh, some territories, Lord God, will be enlarged. Yes, Lord God, Lord, some silent tongues. Lord Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 We'll speak again. And some dry bones. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We live Thank again. Jesus. Have your way, Lord. And we are so pleased, Lord God, to give you the glory. We are Amen. mindful, Lord, that you alone, hallelujah, deserve the glory. Lord Jesus, Thanks, not enough self. You alone must be praised and lifted up, Lord. So tonight, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, 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 God. Tonight, tonight. We lift you up, Jesus. And we tell you, have your way, Lord. And we commit ourselves into your hands and tell you thanks. Oh, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, my sisters in the Lord. God bless you. I hand back to you. Hallelujah, Sister Louis. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Wisdom. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. I just, I am so blessed. My heart is so rich. My heart is full. I'm just going to ask everyone who is online at this moment, could you just unmute your mic? Just unmute your mic and let us just Send up a shout of hallelujah, praise God, a shout of worship over this airway, a shout of anything you want to say. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you. God has been good. And tonight, I am so blessed. My heart is it's just yielding and rejoicing in the word, knowing that. God has called us in such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Sister, 
there is worth in us. Mm. Let us not give up. These two nights has been so good. And I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling regenerated. I feel like I'm pregnant and I want to give birth. I feel so good and I want to thank God for every one of you. Tonight we had 70 odd persons and, and this was good, both on YouTube and on Zoom. Thank you so much for your cooperation and thank you. God has been good to us. This is just the beginning of a new thing for us in on the Glendevon District of Churches. And please, I'm asking you, please keep praying for the women of God. Let us just keep praying. Let us just call a sister Nelson. A sister Nelson said tonight, you need help, just call. You're going on fasting. You have a call somebody to help you. Get up. I don't know whoever you want to call. Call somebody and say, look here, don't be afraid because sometimes because of pride, we die in, in our situation. But let us call for help. You, We won't know you need help unless you ask. Call one sister. Call your neighbor and say, look here, I'm going to a situation. Fast with me today. Pray with me today. Let us keep on having it. Let us have each other's back. Let us worship together. Let us continue to give God the glory. And he will indeed bless us. And remember, Esther's, Esther's, the deliverance of your church is in your hands. The deliverance of your church is in your hands. The church represents your nation from Cornwall Court, from Salt Spring to Lilliput to Glendevan. Your church is in your hands. Women of God, let us not stop. Let us just keep praying. And as the preacher said last night, we pray for the future. We pray for present. We pray for the future. And our God will come true for us. God bless every one of you tonight. Thank you so much, Sister Kiona, for the word. What a word. God, may God continue to bless you, ma'am, and use you for his kingdom. Thank you, Sister Wisdom, for that prayer. You know, you can know when somebody pray with every being that they have. And I felt the prayer. It touched my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you again, everyone. And may the Lord bless you. And may his presence continue to be upon you. And may light continue to shine around you in your going out and in your coming in. May the Lord his blessing shine upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a good night. And remember, we go to the region. Um, tomorrow night, we will be joining the other parishes on the region connection. So the, it is sent in the group. Please remember to link up and see you tomorrow night online. God bless you, everyone. Have a blessed night. You can unmute and say good night and goodbye. Please, I need to hear some good goodbye. Night. Good 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 How night. Are you, I am good. I'm good, honey. <laughs> I miss you, okay. bad, bad, bad. I miss you, <laughs> you. Miss you, miss you, miss you too. Okay. All God right. bless you. I'm here at the battlefield, girl. All yes, right. yes, Hold my on. darling. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. All right. Yes. Good All night, right. everyone. Good night, All everyone. Right. One love. One love. Good night, Sister Pendergrass. Good night. Good night. Blessings. Yes, ma'am. All right. So see you tomorrow, everyone. Blessings. Okay. Blessings. Oh. Same to you. Same to you, Sister Louis. Good night. Yes. Good night. Yes, ma'am. Yes.